Welcome back Saber fans, Tony here from Ron Sabers, and today another install review for you. If you're new to the channel, I do install, repair, and review these sabers, so please like, comment, and subscribe. Also, website RonSabers.com where you can find my finished products and sound fonts. So if you're interested in that, then let you got the link in the description below. So here we have a Saber Forge Exalted. This is one of many that the customer has shipped out to me. Um, I previously have done uh, two Saber Forge sabers for him, or not Saber Forge, um, two Ultra Sabers, Sabers for him, and then one Graflex, and then this one. So, uh, very nice to have returning customers, very, very satisfying. Um, this customer here with this guy um, just wanted a uh, full install, uh, so it'll come with a 32-inch blade, the full install, and then he wanted a very small select few sound fonts. He was very specific with colors and blade styles, though. Um, with this Saber in particular, is weird because um, I this is the first time I got an Exalted Mark II. Um, they're thin neck system like is loosely threaded so you could actually unthread it entirely and then unthread it all the way through it doesn't have like a set lip so you can tighten it and stay there so I had to like lock tight it and so it's not going anywhere but um but yeah very nice very solid now it's not going anywhere you got two 12 millimeter buttons there power and aux um and so your chassis system is just a um static chassis so it just stays in the hilt and then you can pull out the chassis this is a Profiboard 2.2 running Profio with 7.12. Uh, you got a 2.1 recharge port and, of course, a Smuggler's Outpost base speaker. This is a dark version. So, very loud, very nice. I forgot to pull out the Kilki. And so, we want to pull out the Kilki for it to boot up. I have a bad feeling about this. There's a lot of Obi Wan fonts on here and then a few Luke Skywalker. So, very nice. And so, without further ado, let's put in a blade and show you off the fonts. Alright, so for the video, we have a 27 inch blade here in the studio. Um, this will have definitely some different colors on there that I'm used to for certain characters. Um, he asked that the first few Obi-Wans are going to be a medium blue, and then I'll tell you when it switches, but then it goes to a dark blue and then a light blue. So, right now, this is my, um, I've designed a medium blue that kind of matches most Star Wars. Um, I'm calling it True Blue to Star Wars. It's a hex key that I was able to sample from the original Star Wars as well as the prequels, and uh, it's not really dark, dark blue, but it's not light, light blue. It's a very interesting mix, and I can show you here as well when I do color changing um, what the original color is on this, I believe, and so um, I might not be able to because the color wheel, but anyways. <clears throat> so the true blue color is what it is on this one. It's very, very cool. It's not quite dark. It's not quite light. It's more of a good mixture of both. Um, so yeah, this sound font is Kyberphonics OB1, and so you can see that here. You can actually compare it to these blues here. Um, it's just a tad bit darker than that. It's a nice little audio flicker. I'm sure the customer knows um, pretty much how to operate these sabers, but I'll go through it anyways. Just tap for blasters, hold down for force effects, of course clashes. Hold and clash for lockup. Hold power tap aux for lightning block. For color changing the opposite of lightning block, so hold aux tap power. You can go through the color wheel or color selection. So here I can show you the original blue and then the, the other blue. Let's go back. There it goes. Let's do it up here. So this is oh. This is the dark blue, and you can revert back to the original true blue, and so you can tell the difference there. I don't know how obvious it is, but it's a lighter than normal standard blue, and so. Um, for quotes, you want to tilt the blade down, hold the power button for two seconds, let go. Um, if the qu has a quote player, I believe this one doesn't. Yeah. And so. This one will have a track player. To get into the track player, you want to tilt the blade horizontal and then hold for two seconds and let go. You go through by rotating the saber. You can select the track by hitting power. Of course, you can turn it off by holding for two seconds and let go. But yeah. Um, I think that's it. Next up. This is OB2 by Kyberphonic. This is the Camino version. So again, that medium blue. This will have several tracks on there as well. But yeah. And then I believe this one also has quotes on there. You seem a little on edge. Yeah, so this will have a quote player. 
I haven't felt you this tense since, since we fell into that nest of gun dogs. Oh, yes. You're sweating. Relax. Take a deep breath. Yeah, next up. Master Kenobi, you disappoint me. This is the uh, Genosian version or of uh, Obi-2. There's an unusual concentration of Federation ships over there, R4. The transmitter is working, but we're not receiving a return signal. Morrison's too far. R4, can you boost the power? We'll have to try something else. Maybe we can contact Anakin on Naboo. Obi-Wan. This is uh, Obi-3 by Cyberphonic. This one is the deep blue, um, representing the uh, dark blue of episode 3. There are force effects and quotes from this one. This one has uh, Battle Over Coruscant as the track. Yeah, next up. It's just Ben these days. This is Ben from the Rematch Bundle by Cyberphonic. Different quotes and stuff on here as well. Who you become now, it is up to you. Please tell your father I tried. Just keep them safe. And the one that Vader wants. If I go, he will follow. Leia, please. You're what needs to survive. And this also has a track player on there as well. Next up, Ben Kenobi. This is uh, Old Ben by K Sith. This is going to be a lighter blue. Now, the customer here wanted yellow blasters. So I have yellow blaster right there. If you strike me down, I shall become more powerful than you could possibly imagine. Hello there. If you strike me down, yeah, I shall become there. more powerful than you could possibly imagine. This has the force theme as the track. Next up. Luke. This is, uh, oh gosh, Cave? The LS6 by K Sith. This is the Cave version. This will also have um, the bar scene as the track, but it'll also have the same track as this next one. I am Luke Skywalker. This is the uh, modern version of LS6 by Cyberphonic. Oh, Cyberphonic. K Sith. The customer also asked for yellowish blasters, but they show up kind of just white with the green. have the barge scene on this track. Yeah. Next up. Master Skywalker. This is uh, Grumpy Uncle V2 by Cyberphonic. And last but not least, you have your passive battery monitor, which fades from green to red, depending on the battery voltage, and of course, the party blade. So that concludes the install for the Saber Forge Exalted. I hope you, of course, enjoyed the video. I hope the customer enjoys the Saber. Have a wonderful day, and may the Force be with you.